Hi guys! It's part two of Vector. Let's go. So we got our classic mode. So last time, if I remember, we did the eight, the sound story. So that means we only got these four left to do. So yeah, let's hop into it. Let's complete these and get into the next two, well, stories of the next area. Sound good? Sound good. Let's go. Story eight. All right. Bam. So yeah, I finally figured out this is coinciding uploads with um Sands of the Coliseum though. Honestly. Yeah, that game. So yeah, Sands of the Coliseum. This will be well, Sands of the Coliseum actually it's coming out after Sands of the Coliseum. So basically the videos are alternate every other day. I'm glad that I did figure it out though, you know, bring him back, uh, Sansa Coliseum, you know. There's a reason this is here, yep, I think we jumped last second. No, we're supposed to slide there, I believe. Oh well, it doesn't matter. And that, at least not here, because later on it does, because you need those to actually, um, get to the furthest stories and actually unlock them. Where the meme here? Go jump. Probably could have hit our head that bam. Yep, this is the part I said where you do all three tricks in a row. Pretty cool, honestly. Let's just jump on that. So, yeah, once I get into the later part, so I'll definitely be trying to repeat the story zone episodes, you know? Bam. Let's see if any of those times it would ever. Like, I'm trying to see if it would ever clip his hand, which I don't think it does. So yeah, basically, you're an office worker, you broke free from the monotonous style of life, and you're now running for your life, I guess, in search of freedom and all that. There is a second game after this, which basically says this is all a simulation, I guess. And uh, if y'all want to see me play that, I might just do it, honestly. I play a little bit of that one, like I've played of this one. That one's definitely a hard game, though, to play, harder than this one. And also is more RNG heavy and all that. But all in all, I'd say this game and the second one are completely I mean, pretty much the same you're running and all that. Except the second one you're not running from anyone. Yeah. Ooh, a red coin, those are pretty rare. I think that's only like the second one I've ever gotten. Nice. So yeah, it's just a slide there, and because that we don't get to see the tricks and all that. Oh, I'm messing up right now, and that's not good. Oh, barely. Aw, oh, nope, it's over for your boy. Yep, messed up on that. It'd be like that, though, sometimes. Alright, let's play a little bit better, then. Bam. Alright, climb up here now. I mean, now I know what to do, so... I dropped down this time. That wasn't the area, but yeah. I almost made the same mistake there, or I kind of did already. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to grab them all, but I do like doing the tricks for y'all though. Also, if you do get captured, you do keep the coins that you gathered. Just so you know. Bam. Jump over here, screwdriver on him. Bam. That seems to be way faster than last time, so I'll take it. I was supposed to fall there, whatever. Now this is gonna be a little bit of an iffy one. He tried to fall the same route as me though. If he didn't do that, he would have caught me. And I basically won now. Bam. Alright. I do know if you do get too far ahead, he does actually spawn somewhat closer behind you. So I believe, is this the last story? One for this? No, not yet. The next one is, and it's a little bit different, actually. So I'll keep it real, these early missions are just pretty uh, easy, like anyone can do them. 
But of course you'll make mistakes here and there learning the formatting and all that, you know. But generally once you learn it, it's really hard to fail. On accident at least. Let's see. Man, I hate those small ledges they have to jump up on because if you don't time it right, you don't do like the faster vault thing. I think this one's also not a jump. I was wrong. Jump there, jump up here. Oh yeah, jump up there and jump up top and jump over this. I said not going for perfect scores, that's not needed here. Bam. Yeah, I think I prefer this game though to decide. Oh, he's another close. Second one though, as I've said. I don't like this, honestly. Alright, let's jump through this now. Jump over this. Alright, so he's messing up, which is definitely programmed to happen. You know? Oh. And that setting's a little bit different. You know? So, yeah. So now we just got one more to do. And I'll basically wrap up this one, you know. See, how long is this one going on for now? Okay, we got a little bit of time to do this in the next one. And call call it a wrap for the recording of this episode. Alright, so yeah. And this one, unlike all the other parts, you actually gotta follow this guy. And if you don't follow him, you're not gonna make it. Because this one actually has so many places where you can fail. But they also get like those little parts you get greedy for the points and all that, you know. So yeah. Just make sure you're following him down to the T. And you'll basically be fine. Because if you don't see him, you might slide down there, for example, you know. And you might yep, I messed up. And guess what happens here? Yep, at that end. So yeah, this one's actually a little bit tough to do, honestly, and I think it's one of the tougher missions. J just in general, I'm not trying to three-star. Three-starring is a different thing. Jiski, that's where you get all these, like, completing the missions one, getting all those boxes a second, and doing all the available tricks is another. So yeah. If I remember, you can just slide up the part where he jumps early. They just have him jump early because they actually know that they can get away with it, you know? So yeah, you just have to do that. I'll try doing the trick there. So yeah. I, I love this mission. It's actually my favorite one in the game, honestly. Yep, and you would never think to come down here either, more than likely. So yeah. Bam. Now you don't have to jump. But it definitely makes this part easier, if you do. Yep, and you slide down here. The game tries to fake you out, especially if you don't see him. Like, at all. Bam. And then here's where it transitions into the next area. So yeah, he throws you up. And he isn't able to make it. So he throws a device, and he gets sadly tased as a result. And then you continue on. Then yeah, that's it for the first area of this game. So yeah, that is one third of the story done now. So that was basically the kind of tutorial area and towards the end it gets a bit more serious. Now, once you get a points, you can also do hunter mode, as you can see, which yeah, also wait. What? Oh, you have to pay coins to unlock it. So yeah, the first one you get for free, I believe. But now, we're going on to the construction yard. Then it leads to the technology park. Yeah. So now we go back here to the construction yard. And this one, I haven't played a lot of. Yeah, as you can see, I've actually not... Oh, I'm towards the end, actually. Dang. I didn't say you can just leave pay your way to the end, though. Or it can be normal, you just play the game. So yeah, let's start 2-1, and let's do the second one, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be a good point for the video, you know? I don't know though. Let's go. Bam. Alright, let's go. 
So this picks up exactly immediately where you left off. Now this is where it teaches you some new mechanics of the game. First off, this one being wall climbing. So yeah, now we actually get to jump left right on these wall corridors. Which is something that you could never do in a previous one. Now the next few features it's showing you can actually do. So sliding down and stopping is actually something you could always do, but not the wall climb stuff because there's never a reason for it. So yeah, here, bam. So yeah. Oh, I think I messed up here. I did. Yeah, this area is way harder though. But yeah, I don't know what they're going to do for the third part, but I am excited for it though, honestly. Now, if I find that getting swords is too tough, I might do this on my off time too. Just so y'all don't have to watch me struggle, but it is what it is though, at the end of the day. Bam. Bink. Now we run here, then we slide. See, if you do it fast enough, the game doesn't slam on you for it, but yeah. Bink. So we jump early this time because we now know. This one, I believe, it teaches you how to stop. Which, yeah, pretty insane, right? So that's three new things you gotta remember. How to climb on the walls left to right, how to slide, and stop when doing the sprint areas. And yeah, you only get like a few seconds to make that kind of choice too, by the way. Bam. So yeah, that's the new area. And let's back out for a second. So we're getting to the parts where I basically don't remember that much of the game. Like I don't remember anything past this initial part though. Even though I have free started and all that. But yeah, let's see if I do remember. All right. I mean, I accidentally found the stop and slide feature, so... The sad thing is, I'm letting play this on mobile now. I'm just using an app on PC that, um... Whoops. That actually lets you... Play mobile games. It's called Bluestacks, but, yeah. Not a sponsorship, by the way. But, yeah. As you can see, you're supposed to jump back there for that, too. But, yeah, this is pretty fun. I never knew about the wall jumping, though, because I don't think I ever got past the first area. I know back in the Congregate days, when Flash is still active, you could actually play this. I guess the company got a little bit greedy though, because you can't play it on the thing anymore, even with the Flash player. Not a bad thing though, honestly. There's got Blue Sex for premium experience. Again, not a sponsorship, just saying that I'm only able to play this through Blue Stacks, which, yeah. I mean, I don't have much to say here, except I'm surprised I'm doing this well. I was supposed to go down there, I think, for some points. But yeah, these also are going to be longer, too, compared to the first area. Uh, my favorite thing to do here is to jump up. Oh, I missed it! Aw, oh, man. It's only 10 coins, though, but you can hit your head on that ending. Uh, What time are we at? Okay, this is a little bit long. Yeah, yeah. So I'll end it there. So that's me for this one, y'all. I'll catch you in the next one later. Have a good one. Hope you're looking more forward to these because it might become more common. Bye.